Want to know what's inside the worthy trap? Let's find out. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lord's Mobile video. Before we get into this video today guys, hit subscribe if you haven't already done that and smash that like button, okay? Because today I'm giving you a full overview of my solo trap account and I mean full. We're gonna go through troops, stats, gear, jewels, heroes, everything today guys. On my channel so far, I've got a how to build a solo trap video, and that's a very good video on how to start off. I've also got upgrading trap videos and plenty of action videos of the trap in action, as well as getting zeroed. <laughs> but bottom line is, I'm now at the point now where the trap is pretty much done. Apart from the, a couple of things that still need to be done, it is pretty much a fully complete working solo trap at below 60 million right now, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to share this with you today. So if you're making a solo trap, this is a great video to come back and keep checking to find out if you're on point where you need to be basically. Now I know there's a few different ways to make a trap. My way isn't the only way, but my way does work. So there we go. <laughs> okay, let's get straight into this. So where are we going to start with first of all? Of course guys, let's start with the troops. As you can see, I'm sitting on 12.37 million troops, which is a decent amount for a solo trap. I see most solo traps around about seven, eight million. Um, so 12.3 is pretty good. As you can see, I've got 5.25 million archers, five million cataphracts, no grunts at all. And there's a good reason for that. You know, a full T1 trap will cap people, but when you're coming up against a group of big T4 players that are all gonna solo you at the same time, that T1 front line just does not hold up. It will break, you will burn, you will lose a lot of troops. So I prefer to go with the T2 front line, which is my gladiators. As you can see, I'm sitting on 2.1 million gladiators. It was higher than that, guys. It was around about 2.4 million, but, you know, I lost some troops, I went down to 1.6 million at one point, and I was still capping people, so there was really no need to go to 2.4 million. So I took it to 2.1, and I started increasing my T1 archers. Where can I go to improve this composition? Well, really I want to take my archers to 7 million, because, and don't get me wrong, I can still cap it, but the march which does the most damage is a 100% cavalry uh, T4 march. Of course, it's an infantry front line, it's gonna do the most damage, but it still isn't enough to cap. I think I wounds about 200,000 at the moment, if that's a big, you know, mystic player that's hitting me. Um, so, you know, archers would be a really good addition to this trap, so I'm gonna take it to 7 million at some point. As you can see, this is a T3 account. I've got one super soldier sitting as the Royal Guard. Smash the like button for the super soldier guy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's all I need. I don't need any T3 in this account at all. It adds too much might, guys. Way too much might. And that's how the troops are currently looking. Okay, guys, let's move over and take a look at the wall. We're gonna cover everything, so bear with me. Now, the wall hasn't had no research or very little research done on it. And on my station, you can see this is the perfect free to play setup for your heroes for this particular type of trap. So we have Demon Slayer and Oath Keeper on our front line because they're going to be giving HP and attack to that infantry front line. We then have Rose Knight in Cavalry. You know, Cavalry, we need it, which is why I've got 5 million, but it's not a major part of this trap but we still have Rose Knight to boost it plus she has the army attack with an army HP which is great for both range and infantry and then on the back line we have Bombing Goblin awesome army attack again and the Snow Queen really really good we don't really need the HP because range is at the back so you can go with Tracker but I just think Snow Queen adds to what already looks like a very beautiful team <laughs> so there we go that's how my wall currently sits if we move over, we can take a look at the research. Now, this is very straightforward, guys. We don't need to spend much time on this, but Monster Hunt has been done up to level two, so I can just basically get some materials and some speed ups, especially early game, okay? Economy hasn't been touched apart from a little bit on construction speed and a little bit on weight training, just to help out with some gathering. 
Defense, again, a couple have been done just at the beginning, but nothing else has been touched. I was gonna put some T1 traps in there when I first started, and then realized that would actually go against me, so I didn't even bother building the traps at all now. Zero traps on this trap account. And if we go down and take a look at the research, you can see I'm at level nine on my offenses, uh, level eights on defense except for infantry, um, T2 unlocked. We've got level eights on range and cav, infantry level nine. We go down to the big three, you can see I've got level seven on army health and army offense. This research I've done guys, perfect. Don't need to do any more on that. That's complete as far as I'm concerned. Defense, nothing. Upgrade military. I did do my archers uh, subsidies. I done grunt just so I could get to the gladiators. And I done level nine on the cataphracts. But you know, this subsidy, at 40% cost reduction, saves me a fortune when I'm doing my T1 boosts as well as my T2 boost as well. So I would recommend getting those to level 10. Going further down, you can see that I got rally priority. I have no idea why I got that because I ain't never gonna join a rally on this account. Although I kind of did when I first started, so I guess that's why. It didn't really add a lot of might, so that's okay. Uh, going down here, you have to get these level three, these tier three subsidies to level four, okay? You have to do that to get your quick swaps open. So we go down, we get Barrack Expansion and Training Speed to level 2, which gives me access to Quick Swap 1 and 2. You need both of them, guys, so you can switch between the two gear sets, okay? Your fake and your real, which we'll get to shortly. Army Leadership, nothing done in there. Military Command, nothing done in there. Some very basic level 1s. i just done that to get down to Breakthrough so I can work on some Mystic gear, which I'm still working on. Uh, familiars, nothing at all. Sigils, nothing at all. Wonder Battles, no. Okay, so the research, as far as I'm concerned, is in a good place. Really good. Okay, let's go and take a look at my gear. Okay, so this is the gear I'm currently rocking. I've got some really good stuff. Now, let's go through it. I'll go through it one by one with you. Like I say, we're going to do a full overview here. So, Indulgent Visage, currently sitting at that with Blue Jewels. I can upgrade it to Mythic but I'm not going to um, because I don't want to use that on the long term. It's going to be the Beast Helm, which I've got a blue at the moment, which is halfway to purple. So it's going to be a purple Beast Helm on this account. I know if you look back on my videos, you'll see me say, I'm not doing no level 60 gear. <laughs> yeah, it kind of went out the window, guys. <laughs> um, so what else have I got on here? I've got myself a green course helm for training troops. It's really helpful. Uh, going further down, you can see I've got the Hedonic Cuirass at blue, purple jewels, very, very nice. I'm currently trying to get it to purple, guys. I need two more purple halos, and I'm going to be there. So, not far to go on that one. Um, I've got some fake gear I use. I use this Armour of the Abyss at purple sometimes. Got a pair of blue champion boots, guys, which I'm going to use when I hit level 60, because the stats are really good. And I'm not too far away from getting it to purple, as you can see. So... I'm going to be aiming for a purple pair of champion boots on my solo trap. How cool is that? <laughs> um, we've got some more fake gear, some cavalry boots. Um, this is actually something I use, which is the legs of the deceiver. As you can see, it's all jeweled out with purple jewels, which is really nice. I've got my griffin talons. Going further down, you can see I currently use... I used this when I first started. Then I switched over to this, which is the nectar orb. I do want to get this to purple. I am very close to getting it to purple, as you can see. I need one more blue honey venom. I really like this because it gives me some good cavalry and good ranged attack. But ranged HP and cav defense isn't something which I'm too fussed about. But guys, when I do hit level 60, it's probably going to be the Frostwing Greatsword that I switch over to. As you can see, I have a gold one ready and waiting. I also have a purple Eternal Codex. Gold is a long way off, so don't worry about that. <laughs> but at purple, it's very good, and it's going to replace the uh, Dark Aegis that I'm currently using. That's pretty well jeweled out, again, with purple jewel. I also have a pair of purple winter mitts, so I'm going to be doing some testing between what's better between the winter mitts and the codex for taking hits. Okay, some more fake gear, cavalry, cavalry fist, switchblade. I've got some monster gear there as well. Uh, going further down, you can see I've got myself a purple blight ring, which I'm going to be switching out for the worm seal, which is what I currently use, sitting with a purple jewel and two blue jewels. Uh, going further down, you can see I've got myself a gold fear drum with all blue jewels. Very nice, looking good. 
and I got myself a secret totem. The reason I got this is because it's got fantastic infantry max HP, plus with the jewels, it gives me some pretty good attack stats. So that's something I decided to go for. That might get switched out later on down the line. The rest is just my construction research and my hunting horns. As far as my jewels goes, I've got some monster jewels. I'm also getting close to being able to upgrade some more of my attack jewels. You can see I've got two purple blue range and a blue infantry. So I'm slowly working my way through that. Um, as far as my embers go to upgrade stuff, I'm still working on it. You can see I've got three purple embers and I really want to get a gold one so I can upgrade my fear drum potentially to mythic. So, you know, it's a work in progress. That side of stuff is quite heavily paid to play and I will get there eventually. As far as my familiars go, guys, you can see there's only one I've really worked on, which is Aquirus which helped me get my heroes that I needed to gold. Right now though, it's irrelevant and I don't really want to work on any more familiars because the only good ones I want now are the ones that give me attack stats, but they're in pack three and the research might to get to pack three is quite a lot. So for now, I'm holding off, but that might change in the future if I want to make my trap have slightly more might. So there you go, we've gone through the gear, we've gone through the research, we've gone through the familiars. What we can do now is take a look at my heroes. So I've already shown you the wall heroes, here they are. I've got a big guy at blue, which I don't want to unlock. <laughs> He's just gonna sit there under the higher badge. I am also working on a berserker as well. You can see I've got 30 out of 50 medals so far, and I'm gonna take her to gold eventually. It's gonna take some time, but I will get her there, and she will replace one of my infantry heroes because It'll be good to have an army infantry here on the front line. It's just going to do wonders for the actual stats on the account. Okay, you can see I've got no RSS buildings. My RSS buildings are gone. I have started rebuilding back my infirmaries. You can see most of them are level 24 now. I've got a few straggling level 23s to go. The total beds I currently hold is 507,500, which is quite a good amount. I do need to push this up to level 25. I will be doing it. But the problem is it takes so much resources, guys. Look at this, 17 million wood, you know, 8 million food, 10 million stone, just to take one of these up to level 25. That is a lot of resources. So I don't really want to use what I've got right now. I'm going to save it, but eventually I will take them up to 25. Why is it so important to do that? Well, not only does it give you more bed space, but of course, you get yourself 5% extra army max HP, which is really good. You know, it adds like another 70% HP if you get all these done. So it's definitely worth doing it. Just takes a lot of resources. <laughs> so that's how that's looking. So it's looking pretty good overall. I did take my um, watchtower to level 25 because that actually gives me a reduction to invading troops attack about 10% so it gives people gives the enemy a debuff when they attack me so that was a pretty good one to do so I went with that okay let's take a look at the actual stats I'm getting from this so as you know I'm level 59 I'm about halfway to level 60 so I've still got quite a way to go uh, which is why I've invested so much time and ultra rares into some of my level below level 60 gear because I needed to otherwise I wouldn't have been able to take the hits I've been taking Let's take a look at the gear. So this is my fake gear. So this is something I will commonly sit in. As you can see, it don't give me nothing, like 7% attack on range, 7% <laughs> cavalry attack, 19% infantry attack. It's pretty bad. You know, and that's what I'm kind of looking for when people look at my gear, I want them to hit me. Let me show you the stats on my real gear. I've never done this before. This is an exclusive to the channel. I've never given away my stats, but I'm gonna do it now for you. So here's my real gear, guys. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? And this is how it looks. You can see I'm getting 116.75% infantry attack, 99.75% cavalry attack, um, and my range attack is 124 and five. You can see I boosted my range just a little bit more, just to carve cope my cope with that cavalry, basically. Infantry is good at 116. That has to be strong for the front line. You know, cavalry isn't as important, but still sitting respectively at 100. This is pre-level 60 gear. Once I get to level 60 and switch these jewels over to that level 60 gear I've already shown you, oh my god, these stats are gonna take off, which is gonna be even better. If I'm capping people now, God knows what's gonna happen when I get to level 60. Nobody will have a chance. But for now, I'm not there, so I just have to be careful with what I do. 
But let's have a look at it, how it looks like when I've got it on, guys. So let me put, let me put it on right now. There we go. And I think I'm sitting in war stats. This is how I do my talent set, by the way, while we're here. I go straight to the bottom and do my squad health to 50 points. And then max out the level 3s. Range, cavalry, offense for infantry. Cavalry, offense 2. Range, offense 2. Infantry to 9. Okay. And then the rest is just minimum. Apart from the top one, which I always max out. Because for 5 points, 5% 5 attack is actually pretty good for army attack. So definitely do that one. And that's how my stats look, okay? I don't bother with squad defense because that's crap. You're going to waste your points on that. It's going to do absolutely nothing for you. So I don't even bother with it, okay? Um, so let's have a look at how it looks. I'm in, I'm in my war talents. Everything's looking pretty good. So let's take a look. So you can see 259% infantry attack, 250% cavalry attack, 274% range attack. It's quite nice, isn't it, guys? Nice and balanced. Which is what you need, guys. You need a nice balance set. But I gave my range attack a little bit more of an oomph because of the cavalry. You know, it's such a problem, cavalry. It was a problem, but it's not no more. And with these kind of stats, I'm capping all day long. So, again, once I get my level 60 gear on, it's going to make a huge, huge difference. So it'll be really good to see what that is. If we go down and take a look at my army stats, 73% army attack on top of those stats up there, which is pretty good. 143% army max HP, and then army defense. Infantry HP, which is quite an important one as I'm sitting in that kind of phalanx. Let's take a look, where is infantry HP? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Attack, defense, there it is. 116% infantry max HP, not bad. That's not bad at all, plus the army HP, that's quite a good amount. It certainly performs anyway, guys. So there you go, that's what my stats look like, that's what the gear looks like with those jewels. I am obviously looking forward to getting my level 60 gear on, I actually can't wait for that to be honest with you. <laughs> right now Colosseum if you're interested, 4246, I've still got stuff to do on that, I've been quite lazy with the Colosseum. Um, if you want to take a look at my bag, we can do that too, not much going on in there. Combat, I'm running short on boosts but I have got some 20% which is quite nice. Speed ups, again, is something I need to kind of focus on. I haven't got too many at the moment, but that will change very soon. Again, resources, you don't need to see this, guys, but running really low. Um, I've got a brave heart. Oh, I've got some VIP points. I might also use that while I'm here. Uh, some scrolls, nothing else really going on. Some energy, I've got tons of energy. Definitely need to hunt some more monsters. Got some experience points. Well, we might as well definitely use that. Let's go with the experience. <laughs> Got some holy stars, some star scrolls, anima, all that boring stuff. So there we go, guys. That's my account overview. I hope you found this interesting. This is the kind of stuff you need to kind of, you know, take down, take down some T4 players. If you cross-reference your trap to this, you know, good luck. One thing I would say, guys, get your embassy to level 24 just in case you get into a pickle because then you can at least get, get some decent amount of reinforcements. You can take it to 25 if you want to. I just haven't done it yet because... I just haven't got around to doing it, but it's something I probably will eventually do, actually, just to help out. In case they get caught in fury, you never know, I might make a mistake. Mistakes do happen. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe if it's your first time on the channel. There will be more trapping content coming, probably not from the people that are watching, because now they know what I'm all about, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> and until the next time, guys, you know how this next bit's going to go. Stay safe, and peace out.